Welcome back everybody to another video. In this video, I'm gonna give you guys a quick overview of the Marantz model number MM7025, a two-channel amplifier. Before I begin, I wanna just apologize for dust in my equipment. Hard to keep up with the dust. I do clean it, but I don't have much time or I'm actually lazy to clean the dust because it keeps on coming. So I just wanna apologize for that. And also, this video it doesn't just pertain to this particular two channel amplifier model it's going to be pretty much anything that's a two channel it's going to correlate with anything that's two channel so you don't have to uh it don't have to be this brand but in this video i am going to give you guys a review of this marantz two channel amplifier that is rated at 140 watts into eight ohms in each channel. And the retail value of this amp is a thousand dollar, give or take inflation. If you're interested in the specs, uh, you can, I'll put a video on the specs or else you can have to look it up. And the original review of this amp will be in the description. But the important thing is that I'm gonna give you guys my experience living with it and that having this for about a year so basically the build quality is decent enough cosmetic wise will be subjective for me i like it i paired it with my rotel rsp-1576 a 11.2 channel processor and the rotel rkb 8100 v2 which is a eight channel amplifier on a side note just know that amplifiers produces audio signals linearly and will not improve or worsen their sound quality sound quality will depend on your processor or receiver also a less expensive amp compared to a more expensive one as long as you have enough power wattage the dif the differences will be minuscule Every time I power up this processor, my processor, this Marantz never fails to power up quickly with it, never have any loss in connection when it, when it sinks. And after long hours of being on, it gets reasonably warm, but never any loss of power. The 140 watts power these this Marantz 7025 the 140 watts powers my left and right channels these front speakers that i power are the monitor audio server 100 bookshelves in person these bookshelves are bigger than most bookshelves it's driver size and that was the monitor audio which is the brand if you've never heard of it and the model number for that one is the silver 100s which is the more bigger ones the 50 is the smaller ones and silver it's a higher tier because they go by color and all my other channels including my four atmos channels is running at 100 watts making my system a 5.2.4 subs are the rail ht 1508 and my valentine cht the 140 watts does make a huge difference in sound when i compare it to running it my front channels only at 100 watts so you you will notice the power of the 140 watts and if possible you want your LCR or at least your front left and right channels to push at least 130 watts to make any difference over let's say 80 watts or power most of the important power you will need will be in the left right and center channel so if you want that and your current app has less power rating then the MM7025, I do recommend this two channel amplifier to add to your home theater system. Especially 
I compared to other amps is pretty reasonable price. The only caveat I have with the 7025 is that the, it has a flimsy binding post, but it does do the job. Overall, living with it, I am super satisfied with the Marantz MM7025. It completes my home theater that's in my living room. Now, where the 140 watts of amplification shines is in shooter video games, action movies, and two-channel music listening. And let me tell you that the two-channel amplifier, I never thought about even thinking about picking it up because I would just buy one amplifier that does the whole setup. But when I did decide to buy the this amp, I bought it just to uh, play around with it because I've never owned a two-channel amp. Then I realized, well, actually, no, not just that. When I bought this, I needed to run two more speakers because my processor or my amp that I have, it didn't have enough channels. So I bought this to run two more channels, which was at my intentions was for running Atmos. Then I realized that having this much power, why would I put that power in the Atmos? So then I just kind of reroute the wires to make this my main front left and right channels at 140 watts and everything else would be 100 watts. And that made a huge difference when I did that. So that is my experience with this two channel. It's a good brand. I'm sure the newer models will be better. And it's actually pretty light, so, but it doesn't make the quality any better or less. It's just a little bit lighter than most things I have. But that will pretty much wrap it up for this video. Comments, questions below. Subscribe for more. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Hood of Dragons out.